I think that one of the many challenges for gardeners is getting good seeds for planting, be it seeds for growing vegetables, even for greenery or flowers. Those times when we bought seeds from farmers markets and garden centers and we could immediately see on the shelves what we could grow from these seeds are long gone. Those times are long gone. In the age of the internet, many of us prefer not to go anywhere, but to buy everything online through online stores. And as a result of our gullibility and to some extent incompetence, a network of internet scammers have expanded on the internet who pride themselves on the sale of seeds that do not correspond to either the photo on the packaging or the plants they're trying to sell such as porcini mushrooms or rainbow roses or simply modern roses. As it is absolutely not rational, for example, to grow strawberry hybrids from seeds. There are videos on our channel, detailed videos about these particular issues, so you can see the links below. So this is fraud, and as a result, in the event of obvious failure in an attempt to grow these seeds, People usually blame themselves. We say we planted it wrong, we watered it wrong, we didn't take good care of it, we didn't sprinkle any toxic chemicals onto it, and therefore nothing has grown. But it's not this simple. You were cheated. Good seeds will always give results, even with somebody who's untrained or inexperienced, because it is all a natural process given to us by nature itself. After all, it is true that we spend too much effort, patience, money, and time trying to grow something for your table or for yourself, and therefore I decided to share with you how I choose and buy my seeds. I should say right away, no one's sponsoring me. The company from which I buy seeds does not need advertising since it has been on the market for over 70 years and in it sells seeds to local Canadian farmers. I ordered my seeds in early December and I just received a parcel from them as the collected and harvested seeds in the catalog were not ready because they were sorted and checked around mid-January. In the catalog of this company, you will not see any mycelium of porcini or any other mycorrhizal mushrooms, nor rainbow roses, nor modern roses seeds, orchid seeds, jasmine seeds, square watermelons, or blue strawberries. If you see such an assortment, just run. Just run and don't buy anything from the seller. The strawberries often sold are Fergaria Vesca alpine strawberries, small semi-wild strawberries, or strawberries obtained as a result of manual pollination of the first generation, F1 hybrids, that produce small or medium berries for a couple of years, but they will not give you runners for propagation, and the seeds from it will be sterile. It is more like a decorative strawberry variety for pots or your balcony. You can watch a video on our channel regarding this topic as well. I mainly bought vegetables and herb seeds. I will just say a few words about how I approached this choice of variety. I carefully studied any variety that I liked separately. You do not need to be a hereditary farmer or have a diploma in botany or agricultural engineering to find information about the specific characteristics of a variety, such as shading tolerance, ripening time, planting time, disease resistance, as well as whether it's dioecious or monoecious, and even which insects pollinate a given variety. All of these are important for success, and most of this information can be found in the catalog, or on the website, or even on the packaging. This is also another sign that the seeds of this company are real and are of good quality. On seed packages from scammers, this information is usually either scarce or absent altogether. Then you can just search the internet for any additional information, and I also carefully read the reviews if there are any, especially the bad ones, specifically about this variety, since they can reflect some variety problems. So in general, for all seeds, I try to avoid hybrids or particularly heavy hybrids whenever possible, since I like to collect my seeds from the variety I like. And here's what I did last year. Here are the seeds of radish, tomato, cucumber, dill, coriander, mustard, and other herbs. 
This gives me the opportunity to independently harvest my own seeds. For one reason, there is a naturally occurring hybrid barrier, a mechanism that prevents hybrid multiplication and gene erosion. The seeds of such plants are usually sterile, and if something does grow from them, it'll no longer look like the mother plant and it will lose all the characteristic features of the variety. Another reason for which I try not to give preference to hybrids, as from my experience, I noticed that despite all the advantages of hybrids, such as large size, early ripening period, better taste, these plants are usually inferior and weaker compared to their organic relatives. Tomatoes, for example, which ripen a couple weeks earlier, may be more susceptible to some kind of fungal or bacterial disease. But I do not avoid hybrids 100%, as for example, beet hybrids are quite suitable for me because the seeds from it can be obtained only in the second year and it will still freeze in the winter. And as you can see, there are a lot of seeds for just a couple of bucks. Some cucumber varieties, even if they can become pollinated from my dioecious natural varieties, they will not be able to pollinate them back since they are monoecious and only have female flowers. And they will not cross pollinate and spoil the seeds of my natural varieties. Basil, I bought organic Persian basil and look how many flowers it has in the picture. And this will attract many pollinating insects to my garden. These basil seeds are even different from hybrid seeds. Radish seeds look very large and apparently selected and much larger than my collected ones. There are the seeds of green beans too, all one to one, definitely better than mine. In general, each gardener has their own requirements and wishes, but if you don't know what to do or you doubt where you can buy your seeds, seek advice from those who are directly related like growers, farmers, garden centers, and please do not waste your time and money on fraudulent seeds.